And a special thanks and shout out to Hobson GM, Chevrolet Buick GMC of Martinsville, Indiana, for allowing me to come out and film this 2005 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Race on Sunday, sell on Monday. That was the old adage, and with Chevrolet racing le legends such as Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jeff Gordon, and Tony Stewart driving these across the finish lines, Sunday fans race into dealerships on Monday. Sad to see their sell on Monday variants were stale 200 horsepower front wheel drive versions of the Impala four door sedan. So, in 2004, Chevrolet introduced the SS Supercharged, which increased horsepower by 40 and increases torque ratings by 55 pound feet, as well as introduced special pace car editions. For the 2000 to 2003 model years, and special driver editions for 2002 to 2005 model years. The 2000 model year marks the sixth generation of the Chevrolet Monte Carlo, and with the discontinuation of the Lumina, the Monte Carlo saw a complete redesign and styling change. This supercharged SS is well equipped with the $1,810 1SB preferred equipment package and the $1,225 Sun and Sound package. Painted in two-tone black clear coat over silverstone metallic, this Monte Carlo features a premium ebony perforated leather interior. The sixth generation saw heritage themed styling exercise that saw the return of the classic night badge, vertical tail lamps, and full instrumentation, a feature not seen since the 1988 Monte Carlo, and the return of the SS moniker and the deletion of the Z34 trim. All that being said, the Monte Carlo is still a front-wheel drive vehicle and is powered by the 3.8-liter 3800 Series 2 supercharged L67 overhead valve pushrod V6 engine, which was introduced for the 2004 model year. Equipped with the Eaton Generation 3 M90 supercharger, this engine creates 240 horsepower at 5,200 RPM, 280 pound-feet of torque at 3,600 RPM. It is good for 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds with a 0 to 100 mile per hour time in 18.2 seconds. Quarter mile is cleared in 15.1 seconds at 93 miles per hour with a top speed electronically limited to 112 miles per hour. The Monte Carlo features a 17 US gallon fuel tank and it consumes 5 gallons per 100 miles driven with an estimated 340 mile driving range. EPA fuel economy estimates are 17 miles per gallon city, 26 miles per gallon highway, with 20 miles per gallon combined. On my 20 mile mixed driving test, I achieved 20.7 miles per gallon. And the sole available transmission on this vehicle is GM's Turbo Hydromatic 4 Speed 4T65E HD automatic with manual shift capabilities. The SS sits on a half inch lowered ride height with stiffer spring rates and larger front and rear anti roll bars, wider low profile tires unique to the SS trim. Around the rear, Heritage Monte Carlo styling is present with the iconic vertically mounted rear tail lamps, SS specific body cladding, and red badging. On the trunk lid, there's an upright NASCAR inspired deck lid spoiler with bright stainless steel exhaust tips poking out from the SS Silverstone lower cladding. And looking along the profile, the Monte Carlo has the appearance of moving while sitting still. With its all-black body, the Silverstone metallic lower paint gives the car an aggressive appearance without being overdone. And steering is vehicle speed sensitive, variable rate, hydraulically assisted rack and pinion. Wheels are the 17-inch chrome finished diamond cut 5-spoke aluminum wheels. Tires are W-speed rated Hankook Optimo that measure P23555R17. Brakes are four-wheel ventilated disc brakes with front brake coolers that are assisted by ABS and traction control. These brakes can bring the SS from 70 miles per hour to zero in 186 feet.
All right, and taking a closer look around the front of the vehicle, it does feature oddly shaped clear lens headlamps, although it decidedly gives it a unique feeling separate from the rest of the GM car line of this era. Turn signals are integrated into the headlamp units. Down below, you have circular fog lamps. And of course, the breakup with the black and the silverstone metallic looks really good. Up front and center, you do have the Monte Carlo Classic Night Badge. Alright, no smart key access system here. We just have the remote key fob, lock and unlock. Doors open and close with a nice solid thunk. Build material and quality and attention to detail are okay. They're typical of GM of this era, with somewhat decidedly cheap plastics being used, but overall the condition of this car is actually really, really nice. Soft touch vinyl covers the doors. Of course, you have your power mirrors, power windows, and power door lock controls, door molded mat pockets, six-way power driver seat with the lumbar support and manual seat back adjust. On the instrument panel, you do have your headlamp control, trunk release, and traction control buttons. As stated before, the seats are the premium nuance leather interior. They are ebony in color, and they feature perforated inserts. Overall, the seats are very nice and com comfortable. They are very supportive. Alright, and let's pan through the interior and show more details. As you can see here, nice fluid, easy to use power assisted steering with a leather wrapped steering wheel and, and bolster grips. Multifunction audio and cruise controls are mounted on the steering wheel. Classic GM multifunction switch with wiper controls. Premium 6 gauge cluster with the turbo boost gate or the supercharger boost gauge and 140 mile per hour speedometer. Pan over the top of the dash. This very low mile example features a very nice looking, almost brand new appearance to it. No cracks or fades, no breaks or cracks. You have a Bose Delco AM FM stereo cassette and CD player, dual zone climate control, 12 volt power point. You have a mo little mold of storage tray, cup holder, heated seat controls after the shifter. You have also an additional cup holder. Padded driver side armrest features deep storage. Overall, the interior of the Monte Carlo is actually a pretty nice place to be. It's very nice and roomy. Automatic dimming rearview mirror with integrated OnStar controls. You've also got integrated uh, map lamps as well. Overhead, you have an overhead console with sunroof controls, three-channel Homelink Universal garage door opener, as well as a trip computer. The compass and exterior temperature are not working correctly because it definitely was not 33 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. Large padded sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors. The sun visors do swing out but they do not slide out, however they do have slide out extensions. And you have spring loaded non dampened overhead assist handles.
around, let's take a look at the rear seat. And due to the car's size, the rear seat is actually very, very nice and spacious, almost sedan-like in legroom. You've also got a nice amount of headroom and shoulder room. Enough seating for three people, three across. Three-point shoulder belts on all passenger seating areas. Integrated head restraints on the outboard seats. It is a 60-40 split folding seat with perforated leather inserts is the same as the fronts. All right, now of course in the middle you do have a fold down center armrest with integrated cup holders. And pulling the little tethers behind the seat belts will unlatch the seat backs, allowing you to fold them flat. Alright, and there are three ways to open the trunk. First, you can press the trunk release button on the lower driver's side instrument panel on the knee bolster. You can also use the key fob or use the key in the trunk lid. It has a nice large opening deck lid, a low lift over height. It is hydraulically assisted with hinges that do not impede the cargo area. Nice big Oldsmobile mat in the floorboard. But as you can see, this trunk is huge. At 15.8 cubic feet, it's a very nice sized trunk for a two-door car. You also have a spare tire and a cargo net. Alright, and this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at the 2005 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Supercharged. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you would like to see more like this, comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhoodcarreviews. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.